It's a meal preppers Sunday and the slow cooker is such a win when it comes to saving time with doing meal prep. Today I am actually doing a very big batch of chili con carne because we have our family coming for dinner and I want the leftovers to do meal prep for Gary and I as well. So we are going large here. And this is really a cool thing with the slow cooker is that you can do very large batches of food and feed an army, which is awesome. So I love using the slow cooker for meal prepping because it just saves you so much time. Obviously, you just bung it all in. Chopping onions, and I want to show you my little hack on how to do it. Finally, slice across the onion and then turn and then finally do slices this direction and then when you cut down you have it's already chopped for you it's magic it's my little onion chopping hack so basically we are just bunging all of the ingredients into the slow cooker here now another tip here with capsicum is you want to remove that white pith that is quite bitter and it doesn't taste good in any type of dishes so just remove that when you are chopping it your capsicum up having my capsicum chopped in advance would have saved me some time here often meal prep is going to save you time just doing things like chopping veggies you know you could be using for dinner through the week it just saves you time through the week uh, if you have you know a good bit of time in the weekend to do so so this meal I love because you basically just bung it all in, make sure you give it a good old stir and then cook it in the slow cooker for, well, I reckon four to, to eight hours depending on what temperature you're using. I'm using high, I probably should have got this on earlier, but high will still cook it well. I just have to clean up my mess that I've made in the kitchen, which isn't too bad that's the cool thing with the slow cooker it really is pretty easy and like I mentioned before I love using it for meal prep because it saves so much time I just need to work out my meal plan for my breakfast on the meal plan this week we have air fryer baked oats they are single serves so I usually do those on the day because they are very easy to throw together if you are meal prepping because you work away from home I actually work from home so I have that flexibility. Then in the recipe library, we have like the baked oats that serves four or six. And that's what I would do if I couldn't make the air fryer baked oats as single serves. So I have already made a lemon blueberry overnight wheat bix. I just need to make three more breakfasts and then I am good to go. I am going to use the leftover chili con carne and probably make bowls so I love like bowls of food personally so I'm going to do that with rice I'm going to air fry some zucchini and just do some other veggies to go with those bowls and that's going to be a delicious lunch through the week Actually, if you were tuning in here and you haven't caught my meal prep lives before, then I do have a meal prep cheat sheet that has all my tips and tricks for meal prepping with success. If you love this type of content and you're part of my menopausal tribe, I have a podcast called Menopause Nutritionist. I do recommend you go listen to that. You'll get lots of free help over there. You should find it on any of the like podcast places uh, and there's more than 120 episodes so that should be helpful for you in your health and wellness journey enjoy the rest of your day happy meal prepping i will see you next time